everyone, AG Dolls Donnelly here and welcome to my dollhouse. Ah! Um, so this is going to be a haul of the fact that I got a dollhouse, a bunch of other things and we're just going to chat because I haven't uploaded in a couple weeks now. Um, makeup is very purple as I have a shift as a fairy doing some face paints today. So very purple makeup today. It's a lot. <laughs> um, so I'm done with AJ, my truly me number 41, uh, and she's here to help show off the dollhouse. So this is the our generation dollhouse that exists. Um, as you can see, I've already started decorating. I'm happy with the first room. I want to do a lot more to it. Um, the rest of the house is currently in progress, so you get the top room. Did you just hear that screaming? I have a screamy cat. This is Ray. Ray, would you like to join the video? With your little tail nub? Hi, Ray. Hello. So, we're gonna do this video with Ray. Here we go. Let me hold her like a baby. This is how she wants to be. Um, so, <laughs> this is the Our Generation Dollhouse. I've not painted any of the exterior, so this is still pink up here. I have threaded through some uh, ivy garland and some fairy lights and have a couple things set up. The back wall has been done with contact paper and the flooring has been done with the same contact paper just to cover the screws on the floor. Can I plop you on the floor so I can show them all the things? Excuse me Ray. Thank you. So the dollhouse did come up with a couple of accessories that come with the Our Generation dollhouse as well as a few extra things. It came with the Our Generation hot dog stand, which I had no intention of buying and now own. What am I going to do with it? Uh, probably nothing for a bit. <laughs> Figure out where I'm going to store it is the answer. So it's got all these opening pieces. It could do with a bit of a wash, so I might give it a wash. This is all chalkboardy. I might write on it and the wheels are functional. This is really cool. I didn't need it. I might end up um, donating this to some small children in my life. Uh, maybe when they get a little bit bigger. They're a bit small for it right now. It also came with the Our Generation pizza oven with none of the accessories. This is super cute. It's got a hook for a towel. Um, I really like this piece. I probably won't get rid of this one. Um, I kind of like it better than the kitchen that the uh, dollhouse came with. Um, I'll definitely keep this, I quite like it. And the other piece that I'll probably keep is the hot chocolate stand. I've actually had my eye on this one. Um, I thought it had wheels on it, apparently it doesn't. Um, but it's got a lovely awning, it's got the menu on the side, it's got like a chocolate drip, it's got an oven, and a fridge. Again, could use with a, could do with a clean. but I'm sure I'll use them at some point. In terms of the other things that I bought for this dollhouse, I went to Daiso um, and I did a big Daiso shop. I went to an op shop and did a small op shop shop. And then I also did a little bit of a Facebook marketplace find for some doll clothes that I'll show you at the end. So first things first, I bought this really sweet little uh, planter hanging basket, it's metal, it's gold. Oh, my camera's going to die. That's not good. Oh no, let's see how much I can get through and then you'll see it when it cuts. Um, hanging lantern, super cute. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, something cute. Maybe a plant. Um, I bought this placemat in the shape of a leaf. Super cute and cottagey. The vibe for this dollhouse is like cottage core, whimsical, fairy core. I want it very uh, browns, neutrals, uh, rusty colours. Uh, I bought this placemat to use as a rug in the kitchen, um, as the kitchen is probably the only modern space that will stay modern because the Our Generation Dollhouse kitchen is probably my favourite doll kitchen that is available in Australia. <laughs> um, I bought some more contact paper. This is for the bedroom that I don't know what to do with yet. Um, most of this stuff is for that room. I bought a cute little shelving unit. This will be a bedside table. 
I bought two of these carpet squares. They just need to be iron flat. Um, and I thought these would be good for the second bedroom, um, just to add a bit of texture to the floor so they're not all wood grain. I bought this fleece blanket that I'm going to cut and use for some doll bedding because it has little hedgehogs on it. I thought that was so cute. Um, another placemat. This time it's grey and the texture's really fun. I thought this would be a good blanket for a doll bed. Um, and the last thing from Daiso was this original uh, kind of basket. I think it's supposed to be used like this. I'm using it like this for a shelving unit. Um, from the up shop, I bought two things, both are for doll bedding. These two granny squares. I thought these would be cute for a doll bed or like a little throw blanket. The colors aren't perfect for what I'm going for in the dollhouse, but I really liked the crochet texture. So I'll probably use these. If not, they'll be good to have as spares. And I found this quilt that had been started but not finished in the op shop for three dollars. It's got geese on it. It's so cute. Um, plan is to use this for a doll bedding. If not, I will use this on something for myself because I love it. It's so cute. And the border print is so pretty. I really loved this. Um, and then last but not least, I bought two cardigans from a seller on Facebook. The seller is Dog Clothing HQ, made in Brisbane. If I get out of there, does it want to show you? It doesn't want to show you. That's okay. Uh, Dog Clothing HQ on Facebook. Uh, she usually makes for our generation dolls, but our generation American girl, same size. Bought two knitted cardigans. This lovely red to purple ombre with plastic buttons. This will be good on my mini me. It's a lot of colors that I wear. And the second one, it's this blue gray one with metal buttons. I'm gonna put it on AJ right now and hope my camera doesn't die. If not, So yeah, bit of a speedy video because one, my camera's dying and two, I have work. I just wanted to show you the cool stuff that I bought, especially this dollhouse. I'm very, very happy with this dollhouse. I did have to disassemble it completely to get it to fit in my car, which was very embarrassing because <laughs> um, I'd measured and I thought I had enough space, but no, I had to disassemble it completely. But we got it here. I assembled it by myself because my partner was out and I couldn't wait. Um, but I'm obsessed with it. I cannot wait to decorate it more. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Here's AJ and her little cardigan. It's so sweet. I could button it up, but I like them open. Oh, I'm obsessed. The sleeves are a good length and they weren't too tight. I love the edging. These were originally $15 and she's doing half price at the moment because she's closing down her business. So I only paid $7.50 per cardigan. So $15 in total. Bargain. Um, and yeah, that's this video. This is my dollhouse. Once it's slightly more cohesive, I'll give you a dollhouse tour. Um, and I can't wait to do that because I have a dollhouse. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. It's been a bit of a chaotic one and a short one. Uh, if you did like it, give it a thumbs up, and more importantly, comment, tell me if you have any ideas of what I should do with this space. Um, I can't wait to do more amazing things in this dollhouse. See you next time. Bye!